Hi there. Now, in this question, we're given that a ball is projected from a point A, which is 8 metres above horizontal ground, as shown. And the ball is projected with a speed of U metres per second at an angle of theta above the horizontal. And the ball moves freely under gravity and hits the ground at this point B. And the speed of the ball immediately before it hits the ground is 2U metres per second. And by considering energy, we're asked to find the value of U for five marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your work solution against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, let's just add to this diagram that at B we're told the ball is moving at 2u metres per second. And that'll be a tangent to the curve. That'll be the direction that it's going in. So if we just mark that in as going at 2u metres per second. So if we're to use energy then, how are we going to work that out? Well, what we've got here, if we take the gravitational potential energy as being zero on this level here, the ground, then at A, the ball has got kinetic energy and it's also got gravitational potential energy because it is a height above the ground. But then it's going to give up that energy just to kinetic energy at B. It's lost its gravitational potential energy. So that would be the setup for our equation. We can say that the kinetic energy at A plus the gravitational potential energy at A must be equal to the kinetic energy at B. And now it's just a question of substituting our values into the respective formulas that we have for kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. So for kinetic energy, remember it's a half mv squared. Well, if we look at A, it's going to be half the mass. We don't know the mass, so just put it in as m. And then we've got times v squared. Well, v will be u, so it'll be a half m u squared. As for the gravitational potential energy, that's mgh. So it'll be m times g which will take us 9.8 when we get to that part. And it's going to be multiplied with h. h is 8 metres, so mg times 8. And this is equal then to the kinetic energy at B, which will be half the mass again, m, times the velocity squared. And the velocity this time is 2u, so it's going to be 2u all squared. So it didn't matter that we didn't know m, because it's in every term, so we can cancel out that m, divide through by m, in other words. And tidying this up, we've got 8g here. We've got half u squared, and here we've got half of 4u squared, so that's going to be 2u squared. 2u squared, and if we subtract half u squared from that, we end up with 1.5 u squared, or 3 over 2 u squared. So that means then that to get u squared, all I need to do is times both sides by 2 and divide by 3. So u squared equals 8g times 2, which is 16g, and then that's divided by 3. So to get u, just need to take the square root of 16g over 3. OK. And if you substitute g now as 9.8, then you end up with 7.2295 and so on. And if we give this to, say, one decimal place, that will be 7.2. 7.2 metres per second to one decimal place, 1 dp. OK.